might be harder for you to get some of the things you want these days because of shortages and some critical materials, especially when it comes to building. As we start to come out of this pandemic, demand for goods in the U.S. seems to be far exceeding supply, and some industries are struggling more than others. Here's ABC 6's Rachel Mills. If you're looking for a new couch or maybe a new dining room set, well, Jim Sather, co-owner of Furniture Superstore in Rochester, says act now because it's hard to get them. Shipping these days is a real problem. Some of the companies that used to be six or eight weeks are out until uh, next January. So it's, um, it's a challenge. Supply is low when it comes to furniture and appliances. So why is demand so high? People were shut up in their homes for whatever period of time. They couldn't go out to bars and restaurants, so they didn't spend that money, so they had more cash. And then they had their tax returns back last spring, and then they got stimulus payments. Sather says all that sitting at home is making people realize their homes need some updates. But it's not just furniture. Construction is being hit particularly hard, and contractors say the price of lumber is skyrocketing. Well, it's kind of a perfect storm of everything coming together, you know, and COVID's on top of it all. The demand for the materials is high, too, so... You kind of got all that going against each other. Jim Steer, owner of Steer Construction, says everything from the winter storms on the East Coast early this year to fires in California affect lumber availability. So he says after a long year, we all need to be patient. Don't jump into a project, and if you find a reputable contractor, you're, you're going to be waiting anyway because, you know, a lot of us good guys are... are are booked for a year. Leaders at the Minnesota Chamber of Commerce say it all goes back to another shortage, a shortage of workers. The longer that we have a workforce shortage, of course, the the more it's going to compress um, and weigh against supply chain issues. The Chamber of Commerce predicts our labor force and supply chains won't return to pre-pandemic operations until early 2023. In the meantime, plan ahead and be patient. In Rochester, Rachel Mills, ABC6 News.